Hello my dear students in this video we'll see the continuation part of chapter 1 physical world in the previous session we learned about what is science and branches of science as well as scientific here we will see what is physics the word physics comes from a greek word physis which means that nature in sanskrit it is called bhautiki i hope it's clear similarly now we will see the definition what is physics how will you define the physics physics is a branch of science which deals with the study of basic laws of nature and their manifestation in different natural phenomena i hope clear which is branch of science deals with the study of basic laws of nature for example law of gravitation and their manifestation in different natural phenomena for example apple fall here we will see there are two principal thrusts in physics that is unification and reductionism let us see what it is first of all unification unification is defined as the effort is to see the physical world as manifestation of universal universal laws in different domains and conditions that means the same law can apply for a different domain or different natural phenomena to understand the concept now see the example for example the same law of gravitation describes the fall of an apple to the ground and also the same gravitation law is applicable to the motion of the moon around the earth as well as which is applicable to the motion of planets around the sun i hope it's clear the same law of gravitation can apply to all three different domains and conditions similarly the basic laws of electromagnetism govern all electric and magnetic phenomena so this is about a unification i hope it's clear now see reductionism what is reductionism reductionism is defined as the effort is to derive the properties of a bigger more complex system from the properties and interactions of its constituent simpler parts that means if any concept is having a very bigger or more complex and which are under a microscopic domains or many properties are there means so for that purpose we have to divide them into a smaller or simpler part to understand the concept now we'll see the example for example in the thermodynamics deals with the bulk systems in terms of microscopic quantities such as temperature internal energy entropy etc subsequently the subjects of kinetic theory and statistical mechanics interpreted these quantities in terms of the properties of the molecular constituents of the bulk system in particular the temperature was seen to be related to the average kinetic energy of molecules of the system i hope it's understood similarly for uh, understanding the concept of atom so it is better to divide them into its subatomic particles so this helps to understand the concepts of 
atom so that is reductionism so any bigger or more complex or the properties are there means we have to divide them into a simpler part to understand the concept now we'll move on to the next topic that is 1.2 scope and excitement of physics the scope of physics is as big as the universe in which we live and as small as the size of a nucleus i hope it's clear so the scope means very bigger things we are study the bigger things for example the universe as well as we are also study the smaller things very very smaller things for example the nucleus so this is about a scope of the physics the same way the excitement of physics is the thrill of discovering answers to the questions such as why the sky is blue or why the planet orbit around the sun why sunset and sunrise happen or why the seven color of rainbow comes these things we have to learn so that is excitement of physics why this happens the day and the night these are all the excitement of physics so so many examples are there for uh, an excitement of physics to understand the natural phenomena with the help of the laws that will be the physics basically physics is divided into two domains that is macroscopic and microscopic those who are the bulk quantities which is macroscopic and the smaller quantity which is under microscopic now let us see what is macroscopic domain or what are the things comes under macroscopic domain and what are the things comes under microscopic domain first of all macroscopic domain includes phenomena at the laboratory terrestrial and astronomical scales that means the bigger things this includes the classical mechanics astrophysics electrodynamics optics and thermodynamics these all are the branches of physics come under the macroscopic domains as well as let us see the microscopic domain which includes the molecular atomic and a nuclear phenomena the phenomena of nuclear atomic and molecules under microscopic domain that means a smaller things comes under microscopic domain subatoms or atoms these things here which includes the quantum quantum theory atomic physics molecular physics and nuclear physics these all are the branches of physics come under microscopic domain here one mark or two mark question will ask what all the phenomena comes under macroscopic domain and microscopic domain as well as what all the topics includes in macroscopic domain and microscopic domain phenomena means laboratory terrestrial astronomical topic means classical mechanics astrophysics electrodynamics etc now let us see the branches of physics first classical mechanics the branch of concerned with the motion of objects moving at a speeds very small 
compared to the speed of light in vacuum. For example, the study about motion of the vehicles or movement of the man or movement of the planets. These all are under classical mechanics. The study about these things are under the branches of physics, particularly in classical mechanics. Next, we'll see the astrophysics. So it is the study of terrestrial bodies. You already know the in the night, mainly in the night, what we saw the moon or the stars, these things while understanding the concept of the stars and galaxies and planets. These all are under astrophysics. This is another branch of physics. And next, electrodynamics. It deals with the electric and magnetic phenomena. You already know these things. The movement of electric charge and magnetism. In your SSLC, you studied this. Next, optics. This also you already studied. It deals with the study of light and related emissions. That means about a light. Properties of lights. Next, we will see the thermodynamics. It is the branch of physics dealing with the study of heat and temperature. So, these all are under a macroscopic domain. The branches of physics only but comes under macroscopic domain. Here, classical mechanics and thermodynamics. These concepts will study under first year PUC syllabus and electrodynamics and optics will see in a second year syllabus. But astrophysics is not the in your PUC syllabus. Next, we will continue with the branches of physics, particularly which comes under a microscopic domain, which are quantum theory. It deals with physics of atomic and subatomic particles and atomic physics. It deals with the study of atoms and molecular physics it deals with the study of molecules nuclear physics it deals with the study of nucleus so these all are under microscopic domain the branches of physics i hope it understood so usually one or two mark question will ask and also what is atomic physics, what is molecular physics, what is quantum physics, this type of question will come. So what is classical mechanics, what is optics, this type of question. As well as the mention the branches of physics and also mention the branches of physics which under macroscopic domain, which is under microscopic domain. This type of question will comes in your first year theory examination so this is about a physics and unification reductionism and scope and excitement of physics and branches of physics so the remaining part let us continue in the next video sessions that is 1.3 3 physics technology and society 1.4 fundamental forces in nature and 1.5 laws of conservations so these things we'll see in the next video sessions thank you